Don't worry, here we go. There's the camera. Shows that life is so that matters. Health that you got right there is so that matters. Saving, stacking up, yeah, yeah, all that matters. Good time, but the gang gang get yeah, all that matters, yeah, yeah. Hello and welcome to episode three of T R E. This is clearly after the training session we've just done with Jamie. Definitely, look at me. Well, I, I'm still tired at the start. Well, look, we actually forgot at the start, so tell them what we've done. So we are, we've done a game day class. <laughs> we are three weeks away from our game day. So it was a heavy, heavy number. I told you that was going to be tough, though. Yeah, the, yeah. The I didn't think it was going to be as tough. I've done this style of training. Taught I've done this style of training before when it's in the arm and stuff like that. Completely different. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's very intense. People are training for a competition, so... The energy in the room was pretty intense. I got involved myself, me and you jumped in, yeah. and we kind of just, yeah, you're on your own little buzz, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah. on their own little buzz. There's 12 of us, everyone's in their own mind, trying to get battled through a tough session. Yeah. We did really well, we did so really this well. So that, that's what we've done. So just, just watch the rest of the video and you'll see what we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> John, go with Owen. Paul, go with Mick. I'll go with Weedle for today. I want you to get into group A and group B. Me and you jumping now, yeah? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? All good? I was just saying, say you're going to take the mickey today. No, we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't. You'll have me on the air. Uh, so me and you are going to do a bench press, five rep max, yeah? Going through our game day workouts for our game day in a couple of weeks time. One of our exercises on game day is a five rep max bench press. So me and you are going to go for five reps yeah. as heavy as you can. Yeah. It's not competition, we're just going to see how heavy we can go. Yeah. Then after that, we're going to bring in out the 50 kilo. I'm going to see how many reps you can do unbroken. So. When either of us can't do any more reps or we take a longer pause, a long pause, yeah. that's just done. Okay. okay? Right. Done something like this in the army? Yeah, about three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> How, what's your bench press like? Yeah, yeah, it's grand, yeah. More than grand, what weight are you? I'll go 100. <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't know. Like he doesn't <laughs> know. Like he, he's jumping on the scales what's every day. I'm only 83, 84. I'm giving you a I'm at the moment. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Well, let's see, let's go. Oh. Let's right, we're going to push it hard. What? Is there no weight on it? Oh. This is handy. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> Do this all day. Yeah. Easy, easy, yeah. easy. Is there no weight on it? No, no, warm up, warm up. Oh, all right. And, so, then, you, and then you both, I thought you meant to so you me, what me and you're going to weight on it. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do two or three warm up sets right. for about four to six reps, okay? Yeah, yeah. No, nothing crazy. We don't want to burn out. That's the thing. Because okay. we're trying to get a five rep max. So at my score, so the score on the day yeah. will be someone's one rep max that difference the guys are doing behind us yeah. and someone's five rep max bench press just oh, in the lead. Yes, so yes. just say your five rep max bench press is 80 yeah. and, your, and your deadlift is 100. Yeah. Okay, those com combined scores 180 okay. for one person. So we're trying to get the 80 for five for you okay. without using too much energy, okay? Right. So even at that, if we go 60, two or three reps, 70, two or three reps, and then go for 80 okay. for five, yeah. Yeah? yeah? And then build off that, okay? Just do two or three, build. Very All right? Good. Yeah. There's like, listen, there's not really right or wrong way of benching. No, we know, we know. With, but especially, with, especially with bodybuilding backgrounds. Yeah. I used to be body backgrounds where you cut like, a tone of the hand or yeah. put your thumbs under. Yeah. Where when you're looking for full strength, if you're going for strength, you need that wrist strength. Okay. So you need to be pulled. I always do that, the old bogey wrist. Everyone does, I do as well. Yeah, yeah. But the minute, the minute you're trying to get like your weight up by just a little bit, yeah, when you tone your, your wrist, okay. wrist that, that full joint pushing is going to be better than that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah 100%. Nice. Right. Right. Come on, nice. Nice, nice. nice. Okay, same thing. Has to touch your chest, has to fully lock out. Right? Has, has to fully lock out. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, really so, so the movement. We're half revving. Exactly. So the movement has to be for it to count on our game state. Yeah. The bar has to touch the chest and the arms have to fully lock out. Okay. Actually, when we compete in the game state, I'll see how we can on that. Sam, will you lift? Yeah, no stress. Three, Go. two, one. On the way, there. Easy, mate. Easy. Come on. One. Three, two. Beautiful. Beautiful. Three. Easy. Come on. Four. Ah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Woo. Okay. Ready? Three, go. two, one. Come on. Let's go. Right. Touch the chest, fully lock out. That's one good rep. Two good reps. Well done. Come on. Three. Now well, you have this. You have this. Come on. You have to dig deep. Keep the feet planted and go for it. Drive through it. Come on. Up. 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 Ah. One more. Let's go. Come on. Please Come on. don't count now. All good. Now, down for it. We'll get you to it. Drive, 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 drive. Good, okay, lock it in. 
Okay. Oh, so that doesn't so, count on the day. I'll tell you what, it doesn't count on the day. But the, but the reason why we're here is right, 85 is too heavy today. Yeah. So I'm gonna do 87.5. I okay. reckon that's gonna be my five rep max. Yeah. We're gonna you're gonna do 82.5. Yeah. And I want you to know exactly what your five rep max is leaving today. Right. So then you can build on that in the next okay. week. Yeah, Understand? Yeah, definitely. Okay, 87.5 or five, but this probably is gonna be a PB for my five rep max up. Let's see where we're at. Ah. Right, let's help him in three, two, one. Ah. On me. Easy walk. Nice. Nice. Get up, get up, get up. Nice. One more. That's it, push. Easy, easy. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Good stuff, good stuff. All good? All good. Beautiful. How long are you doing this little train? So, you know what, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, went to, I went to Thailand in 2000. 19 uh, before COVID, yeah. and it was big over there. CrossFit was big over there, but I was still, I was still uh, had a kind of a sporty background from playing ball, yeah, so I still yeah. had that kind of engine in me, even though I was doing a lot of bodybuilding. I just got a bit of buzz off it. It's just, no what? Yeah. It's just ready? more, more award. Yeah, two, two, one, five reps. Let's go. Come on, this is your five rep max. Oh, full one. You're all good. Drive through it. Come on, drive through it. Two, you have to dig deep through these now. Come on, come on. Remember, it's competition. Dig deep. Up, 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 up. Now breathe. Three, two, one. Driver, come on. Up, 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 up. I'll go again. We'll get it again. We'll get it in there. We'll get it in. Let's go. Come on, we now. Driver. Driver. Driver, 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 driver. Good. And throw back in. Okay, so we're gonna go for as many reps as we can on 60. Okay, and what way does that work out on the game stage? So let's say we get 20 reps, that just adds to the... Exactly. Okay. So, the, the elite guys are doing the five rep max, the novice and intermediate guys will be doing max reps of a weight. So what we're gonna do is, oh, you got 87 and a half, you got eight, you got yeah. five reps later. So, if you got, just say, an extra 10 reps, then your partner, 90. you don't feel bad about yes, losing yeah, out on yeah, 10 yeah, kilos, yeah. get me? Yeah. So your weight can be, your weight, the weight can be added up by your reps. Okay. So if some person's more endurance wise, yeah, better yeah. than the other person, you're much stronger. Yeah, get gotcha, yeah. you, Okay? Get gotcha. you. One. So they're perfect, like looking, like Voib is down at Oilo, he's just bouncing off the chest. Kind of half rep you know what I mean? But that's why he's that size and this size. Good stuff, good stuff. Get up. That's it, that's it, that's it. Solid, solid, James. solid. Get up. Two more. That's it. Two more, two more. Get up, get up, get up. One more, one more. One more. That's it. Push, 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 push. And good stuff. Woo! 22. 22. 22. Serious about the reps. That was tough. That was tough. Serious about the reps. That was tough. That was tough. So, woo, that got the heart rate going as well. So, this is one that's going to bring, like, different type of attributes to games because everyone thinks strong, 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 strong. But you'd be surprised that some of the smaller, durable lads just will longer. do longer reps yeah. than the big lads. So it's, it's a nice way to spice it up. And it has to be full extension. Full extension. Full down, full extension, yeah. Full reps only in this gym. <laughs> Let's go over. Twist the elbows, you think? Yes, pull them in, keep you your wrist straight. There you go, bang. We got punching. One, full extension, two. Look, my hand is on. There you go. Four, now you're getting power behind it. You're getting your elbows under the air. You're going, you're going, keep going. Keep going. Come on, so that's seven. Come on, let's go. You're doing great. Eight. Nine. Go up. Take a breather. Four. Three. Right, twist the elbows back in. Two. One. Go. Can't take more than five seconds. Three. Uh, three. One. Lucky. Three. Two. One. Push up. Uh, I'm well done. So, a lot harder than it looks. Complete fatigue when it's straight away. Like, in comparison to what I'm usually doing, it's obviously just. Pussy footing around, what I'm usually doing. Yeah, it's it's very hard to push yourself past um, the muscle fatigue. Yeah, past failure. Like, you know I mean? And all the times, that's why it's always good to train in a good environment yeah. where you, we can see them guys lifting heavy over there. Yeah. You can see them guys lifting heavy. Everyone's lifting heavy. Yeah. But everyone's everyone wants to get better than themselves, not yeah, than yeah. other people. Do you know what I mean? It's a yeah. nice environment. It is a good. No one gives a shit who's who's doing what. But it's mad that man, you're doing it, and like I'm not giving up for the sake of giving up. Like, you know what I mean? No, it's muscle fatigue. It's just like it's muscle fatigue. Yeah. But it's. Yeah. That's why that's why it's always good to, to know that there's loads of par, uh, variables of, of, of fitness. Yeah. Not just strength, not just endurance, not just fitness, yeah. not just bodybuilding. 
There's loads of different ways of doing it, and when you touch into each, each part of it yeah. and find what's good for you, yeah. combine all together, it's perfect. On your arm, pull yourselves up. Now, grab a bar toy, head down, head down, now stand up slowly, squeeze, one. Keep oh. your chest up a little bit, put your head down, go for it. Touch the ground, straight up, bang, legs. Beautiful, two, yeah. yeah. Three, good. Good, head goes down the whole time, bring your head down, there you go. And up. Four. You want this nice straight line, so from the tailbone to your, your neck bone, yeah. straight. That means your, your spine's gonna be straight, and then try to get the bum. You're taller, so you're gonna feel, deadlifts are harder for you, so you're gonna feel like the hips are staying up high. They do feel keep, very high. So keep, so sit down a bit more every rep, yeah? So, so as you get past your knee, take your time. As the bar gets past your knee, sit. Beautiful. Oh, I can only imagine, man. My head is rushing after doing the uh, the deadlifts. His head's obviously rushing. Yeah. <laughs> Get up. Push, 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 push. And push. And hold it. And down. Hold it. He was like 10 kg. Unbelievable weight. Like, what was Mark doing? I think Mark was doing too. He actually trained Mark as well, John did. <laughs> Didn't get the job done though. <laughs> did he so I showed him one special move to, de to defeat you. <laughs> and he didn't implement it. Yes. So that's why you know. <laughs> so I think we're doing a bit of conditioning now. Uh, don't know what that is. Okay, what's that? Don't think it'd be too hard though. You stay on the tree exercise until you complete it three times, but we're gonna go every minute. So that means whatever walk you have to do, the 12 to 15 reps, you do that in the minute and the rest of the minute is a rest. I don't think it'd be too hard though. Great walk. Oh, me. Great walk. Great walk. I look good, but not one bit fit. Let's get comfortable in our uncomfortable positions. Comfortable in our uncomfortable positions. Hey, same as there's no growth in the comfort zone, no comfort in the growth zone. That Jamie's going reversing though. The plan is, we're saying last time to come up, Kilimanjaro, September. Oh, base camp next, base yeah. camp next year yeah, and then summer the year after. Very good. Of, of Everest. Very good. That's yeah. the plan. It's tough now, the summer. The summer's going to be a bit hard one. I was looking at the... We looked at Everest. I've done um, Mount Shubakal in Morocco. It's a nice one as well. Really, yeah. Three day, three, three, three and a half thousand metres. Three and a half thousand metres. Which is not bad. Yes. So it's a nice one to step on to yeah. uh, Kilimanjaro, but Kilimanjaro is good. The only thing with Kilimanjaro you can't train for is the altitude last night. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Well, well it's obvious though. You can't do it. You, like, you can be fit as a fiddle yeah. until it hits that last night. It's all mental. Yeah, about yeah. eight hours going up and far down, I think it is. It's tough, is it? But you don't, you're not talking for eight hours, your head's just, down. It's just you can't breathe. You. Yeah, so we get you. Yeah. Minus 15 degrees, make sure you're clothing this property. I had a... Nah, I'll have a Baltic beanie on, it'll be fun. <laughs> the, 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 the jacket I had on was like a Patagonia jacket. It was minus raised the whole way up. And then oh. when I got the minus 15, there was no use for Really, it. yeah? You need to get the prop one. Okay. So where are we, uh, where are we going? Straight to flow? So we're going to fly up the flow. I had a black one picked out, right? Yeah. And obviously, you know, I always wanted a white one. So I had a black one picked out. Went, tested. I think your man fucking sold it, but he said it got rear-ended. What, what is? What, what was it? What, what e class, black, okay, black e class, and the inside was coupe it. or saloon? Uh, saloon. Okay, saloon. Lovely, lovely. So I would have got, I would have got a coupe, but so the inside had the double dash, yeah. But my one has the, it has that, but you just can't touch it. Okay. But it's actually a noise I can't do yeah. the The inside was tan interior. You know what? Can't go around with the wood. I need the wood. Yeah, the wood. You know what I mean? So look, I'll see you for flow. Right. Sweet as. We've we done it and we went over and used and the voice part was clear. Yeah. My ankles boys were yes. really it's that rapid inflammation. That's, yeah, well, yeah. that's, that's why that's why I'm going to struggle playing and my legs are so horrible. We'll get them. No yeah. pain, no pain. Jay. You love it, don't you? Yeah. I love it, yeah. Yeah. Like So look, we're at Flow, obviously we're at Flow. Uh, Stays here again. 
Ugh, you can just hear that Jamie doesn't sound too confident. Yeah, no, I'm not. Should yeah. be fine. No, but I do them every day. My brand is Cold War. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, Pat Flynn said to me right now, obviously I'm a rapper, but it's real. That's what I started off. And he goes, Jeez, man, the ice bath man. What? Uh, I was like, that's what I'm known as. Yeah, yeah. I mean? I'm hearing in here as well. Uh, we you know, Walter Beanie's doing all these things. Grab a beanie for yourself. But you know what, as well? I'll, I'll give it to you. Like, Doing, being known for ice bats is a good thing, mate, because it's, it's not for the faint heart, yes. let's be honest. Look, I did a cold shower this morning, a little bit of a cold shower this morning, like last probably minute or two, it took ice, ice cold. Yeah. And then that stuff with it. But well, look, uh, as Jamie Gooner would say, <laughs> get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Sam is getting in today. Sam is actually getting it's in. It's good to see the cameraman. John's, get, John's yeah. getting in. Yeah. It's good to see the cameraman. Yeah. You can't see the cameraman right now, but he's just jocks. He's, he's going gonna, gonna to have two belly buttons getting out. <laughs> Why aren't we all? So, tell us, uh, Steve, we're going to do two minutes in. We're going to go for the lactic flush again today. So, two and a half in the ice, yeah. two and a half in the hot. Rinse and repeat that process three to six times, all right? Only on the Baltic map. Now remember, I'm, I'm here with Sam oh. MMA champion oh. and a ex-army veteran, we'll call him. Yes. <laughs> Relax, time is on, all right? Ooh. So straight in, straight oh, right. down. Straight, straight, in. In, straight down, and control the breeze. I'm getting in, give me, give me the camera oh. now. Give me the camera. Let's get in. I won't drop it, I won't drop it. Don't worry, here we oh, go. The There's the camera, man. <laughs> Get comfortable with the uncomfortable. That's your slogan. That's it. Down, down. Control the breathing. So we can't start to two minutes until Jamie oh, actually in. So the longer your legs are in on their own, the harder it actually is to get in. Do you know what I mean? Now Sam, Sam does them the other time, so he's in, he's freezing away over there. Jamie's going down. So the town halls is a bad spot. The town halls is a bad spot to get in. What, what, where I'm at now is that one point I get like inch by inch going to let it come up my leg. Cause oh. And he only has one inch. <laughs> <laughs> and right now it's no inch, no inch. What's the other day? Running is a form of meditation. Yeah, we think it's really cool, yeah. but you need to be able to run. It's not worth a wine thing if you're coming no. and you're training and, and you can't even have a you can't no, even go for a jog. Running, running is something that I always keep incorporating and keep it, keep it. Yeah, that's what the ball is, it? Yeah, mm. so the high rocks, the high rocks was, was a lot of running, yeah. and we are doing a lot of track running, but like your track runs are way uh, quicker than your yeah. normal 5k. Yeah, you could do a clone in three and a half minutes. Yeah, what's your fastest 5k ever? 19, so I can't remember exactly. Well, it was just it was a lot to hit on. Yeah, same yourself. Mine's 18 and 27. Oh, nice. Yes, I was only 64 kg yeah, at the yeah. time though. Uh, and then my fastest 10k is 37 minutes. Um, these are all army times, so yeah, I'll put that one. But that's, but that's a good one. The goal of mine is to beat that. Yeah. That 18 and 27 well, at this on. weight. That's it. There you go. Now control your breathing. Slow your breathing down. Don't talk back to myself. Slow your breathing down. You just slow the heart rate down, you can relax, control your breath, and you're okay. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of people, as you can see, Jamie has the hands above the head there. It's an automatic response to keep your hands out, because the blood leaves the extremities in your body to protect your vital organs, if you don't do it all the time, unlike myself. As I said, I've jumped in rice baths with no fatigue, and it was so easy, but the minute the body gets is in the inflammation. Yes. It's like sticking a block of ice to your eye, to a swollen eye, yeah. saying it's not sore. <laughs> you know what I mean? You ever get a swollen eye with a black eye, you yeah. put ice yeah. across it, and you're saying, that's not sore, it stings like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is the exact same things to like, the eye feel all around my body when I'm training hard. Mm. But I know that after a few times in there, that I can get down to this cork. Now with the arms, it's like you said, it's a whole totally different ballgame. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. We don't start work till 10. I'm in sales, so like, I'm not going to be selling out at 7 in the morning. Yeah, no, of course. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, getting up, and when I don't do the ice bath, I feel like my day doesn't go as good. And you're going into work a bit sluggish. Yeah, you have to get sharp. You see what you're yeah. saying, the workload there. Do you think sometimes you put too much workload on it? Yeah, well, you're, you're trying to push as many boundaries as you can when you're trying to do things that not many other people will do or try to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you know that there's going to be room there for a tip of something, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm just glad that I never t I'm not tipping into alcoholism and yes. and, yeah. and party in the session because yeah. that's for me was is the only downfall that I ever found for what myself. What age is it? 29. 29. So what age did you? So I feel last year was my switch. Yeah, well, last I, year I, when I was 25, well, I, I was 26, 20, you know. 27. When I, when I came out from Marbella, I had me last to rap. Yeah, and, like, uh, and I noticed that in the podcast, I watched uh, Jamie's podcast with uh, Mokhtar and it made me like him a bit more because I was like, he's on a similar pose to me, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, know, like, you had to come back 
Because I moved away and I was, when I was away and I got back, I was like, oh, I have to start over again. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? That, you think that? Do you think what I found about going away? And I can't think I was still running my business and I was doing online, more online coaching, more yeah. uh, personal influence or stuff instead yeah, of yeah, yeah. Uh, company stuff. But the way I felt it was, it was just like what I, what I was getting, what I was getting from it in terms of the a aspirations of like living in, in a, a nice place. And I was like, it wasn't really fulfilling me. I was like, yeah. what got me here? Being yeah. like a good businessman yeah. in, in Ireland and going through tough times. Because mm. like if you're not going through tough times, the good times aren't even that, no. aren't that good. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You need to go through like, uh, for me, is like grind, like absolute yeah. grind. Like from even, thankfully we're doing our games down there in three weeks that so you came out and done. This is our eight one. Yeah. Eight one. Now we have 300 people doing yeah. this one. Eight to get to 300 people. Yeah, serious. You have to keep yeah. going though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like that, I'll get buzzed off that. Where when I was in Marbella and I was just say making money off brands and online coaching and I wasn't seeing the people I was working with yeah. and there's money coming in. It wasn't that fulfilling? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't, mm. I wasn't getting a buzz out of it. Mm. Like everyone says, oh, money's there. Everything. Well, it's not really everything. You're not really like we are the ones, I mean. You have black eye, yeah? Yeah, it was all going Reykjavik doing training with Gunnar. Yeah. Black eye, he's up there training in Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's annoying me, I can get my black eye. And that's grappling, that always happens in the grappling. Like, you box, you wouldn't get a black eye. No. You're a bit of grappling, you get a black eye. No, no, it's mad. Well, look, we, we've, uh, we've trained, we've recovered. We're going to go for some food now. Jamie's inside talking a bit shy. Uh, so, big shout out to Steve. Flow Recovery Lounge. Where, what's it? Park, Paramount Park? What's it called? Gym, gym, yeah. Park West. Park West. Canal Walk Park West. Yeah, Dublin 12. Open Monday, Tuesday. Open seven days a week. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. So, look, come down, boys. Say you know the way love fell in front of the content, you look at it. What do you think of that? It's lovely. It's, it's lovely, fresh, wasn't lovely, it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm glad I got in into it towards the end, but it's for me, it's always that gradual. I can never mm. go straight in. I will hope that you'll one day be able to do that. Yeah. So I do salute you for that. That's class. Yes, thank you. Well, we're going to get you a nice back. It'll be lovely. Yeah, I'll take a nice back. <laughs> we'll get you a nice back. Yeah. yeah, lovely. I'll send one out uh, when you come out. Lovely. Right here next week. Baltic that, means, that means I have to do with them. Yeah, that means I have to do it. Actually, you know what I said to you? I said to me, Mrs. Del, about, about do you journal? No, I don't join. Start, start doing the to-do list because you'll hold yourself accountable I, if you I don't have, do it. I have a, like a calendar on the bleeding on the fridge and that's what I use. He's a fault of himself on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, big, big thank you today to our sponsor. Chris O'Malley, Matt Chair Construction. We're a quality driven construction company based in Leinster. We do the big jobs, big commercial fit outs. We do the small jobs and all the jobs in between. Your needs are my concerns and your needs are hassle free construction. And this is where you find it. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Will. Big shout out to Chris, boys. I'm gonna tag him. You're gonna have the logo. You're gonna have everything to get him online, okay? So we've trained, we've recovered, now we've came to eat. We're at Cluck Chicken. Jamie's never had Cluck. No, we never had Cluck. A friend of mine is the chef, and I feel bad because when I walked in, I seen him, and he's a good friend of me for years, and I've never <laughs> been. And uh, he's telling me about it a, lot, a, a long time. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm starving. I'm, I'm, starving. I'm weak with the hunger. <laughs> when he was ordering, I thought he was ordering my feel for me. And then the man asked me what I wanted. I was like, well, maybe he didn't order what he wanted. <laughs> I'm going to get the hot cooker. we will get the, the chicken wings, buffalo chicken wings as well. A buffalo box. I'll get a milkshake and a Coke Zero. Actually, no, I don't want the milkshake. Sorry, I'm being, I don't want the milkshake. I'm just, because I'm starving now. Coke, Coke Zero, Coke Zero. Yeah, Coke Zero, Coke Zero. Save yourself. And that's me. Can I get the incredible uh, cluck, but can I get with no, um, no onions? So just chicken, mayo, and mac and cheese. Do you want a Coke Zero as well? This guy. <laughs> Feast going down though. Your humility. Feast going down. Your humility. <laughs> How you feel, oh, <laughs> Are you real? <laughs> a question I have for yourself was, where do you see yourself in five years? For me, it's like, every, it's, I do try to do two to three years. Um, we're hoping, I would like to be in a, um, Multiple gyms are, are another are another bigger premises. I don't like giving myself too much uh, workload. Yeah. And multiple gyms would give you so much workload that it yeah. take away from what you want to do. Um, obviously, our game day is growing, so hopefully get that to the point where we can like um, Go down the scale it. Yeah, scale it to like where the, the amount of people is doing it is more than I ever thought. Like we started with doing with 30 people in the gym, and now we're up to 300 people 300, yeah. this time. And now um, if we got to if we got to 500 to a thousand in a couple of years' time, and got Better venues yeah. and, and spread it. But it's a, it's 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 an eventuality. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It comes a <laughs> time. It's, it's just about building. It's for the way the way I do business or the way I do art. It's just like do it, see what worked, mm. see what didn't work. Yeah. Uh, improve on what you didn't work yeah. and go again. Yeah. And then all, once progress comes, and especially for our clientele, once they see progress mm. and they they come along with the journey, yeah. there's so much more to build. Absolutely. To go into. Absolutely. A photo is all well and good. But when you see your, your, your reps going up, I never thought of it that way. I never thought of it it's, that way. It's just for, 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 for the lifestyle you're trying to sell. You can't sell a lifestyle of, of 
six packs and, and bicep curls to a father of four who works yeah. a 12 hour shift yeah, five days yeah, a week yeah, yeah, yeah. and is probably probably struggling to make ends meet and never mind and Marcus who just wants a good mindset mm. a good mental oh, sorry yeah. health, healthy mindset so like what you can't you can't sell that to them. No. Do you know what I mean? No. So what, no. don't try. No. So let's give let's give them let's give them. That's two-way reach, goals. isn't it? Yeah. That's two-way reach. And, and then what happens is you're you're coming up short as a coach. Yeah. If I can't give everyone the same goal, mm. then I'm not gonna sell it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, if, we if I can genuinely tell everybody that walked in my door today yeah. that if you yeah. do you come every Saturday, yeah. you'll be stronger, fitter, healthier people. Am I selling them a lie? No. no. Many times anything. a week do you think you're sure anyone, this one, anyone by the way, anyone should be doing it to get to just a little bit fitter. Like okay. Is once a week enough? Well, that type, that type of training is like advanced, advanced. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, for me, once or twice a week, along with your strength training, I think strength training has just, should be done. Bodybuilding yeah. training should yeah, be done yeah, 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 two yeah. to three times a week. That's that's just lifting weights. No no cardio, no no extreme conditioning. And then if you're looking to get extremely fit and like do competitions and yeah. high rocks, which all coming into yeah. like what's all the rage now, you need to be doing one or two sessions of, of hard work. Where your heart rate is literally through the roof. Yeah, what was your heart rate like today? Red zone. I, oh, I was definitely red zone. through the roof, but like I didn't ha I wasn't tracking it, but it was definitely in the red yeah. zone anyways. Because the movement is from if you're going from from like echo to to Echoes to, style, yeah. to yeah. See the burpees as well, man. I just, it's just so hard, especially because we haven't done that training since I've been this course, week. Course. You know well, it's, good, it's good to throw you in the mix. Mm. I keep looking over the field. I'm starving. All I always say is about business, man. Everyone wants to be an entrepreneur, but you have to be able to be able to deal with hard times. Yeah, like hard times yeah. is the difference between business. Oh yeah, yeah. I wouldn't change anything I've ever been through. But this is. I wouldn't, I'd never talk about what I eat that because I don't like victim. No, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours. that I'm afraid to talk about. No, but it's yours. I just want pure positivity. Now that, that could be negative, but I hate to be come across as a victim. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but, but the thing is, your fuel is your fuel. Yeah. Your fuel is your fuel. Yeah. Don't, everyone has that fuel. Everyone goes through tough times, mm. but it's what you're doing and what yeah, you're keeping. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Let's go. What we got was buffalo chicken wings or Frank's hot sauce. We got a buffalo box, so that's like chicken, cheese, chips. That looks unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It we'll get forks or something like that, but try it. Um, I think these are Korean chicken wings, are they? Smell? Or barbecue? They're barbecue chips. Barbecue chicken wings. What did you get? I got Parmesan truffle fries, and I got the, the incredible cluck, which is mac and cheese. Oh, that looks and lovely, chicken. man. <laughs> Look how mad I didn't get that. Oh, baby, that is fire water. What did you get? <laughs> That's a heart attack, man. We got, uh, we got the hot clock. <laughs> I don't. I'm not the most healthiest person in terms of greens. I get I don't salad really eat that and much, man. salad, broccoli, and green yeah. beans. That's I all really I can eat do. That much, um, no, we don't eat that healthy. <laughs> but no, like, we don't think this is too bad. <laughs> it is. With the start of the training, I find I can actually have a little bit more extra calories because I do the extra bit of work when you're doing conditioning soil training. You're burning an extra two or three hundred calories per session. Then yeah. bodybuilding soil training, do you know what I mean? Mm. So you don't have to worry about the extra two or three hundred calories here in yeah. the throughout the day. Oh, that looks lovely. Mate. Man, I'm telling you, cooked chicken and halal. He's never had it. No, it's I'm unbelievable. Over here all the time. Two is just so nice. Top notch, lads. Top notch. Doing a little fellow dance. <laughs> Buffalo box. <laughs> oh, Give it over. Give it over. That's fine, over. Why well, I don't even know I'm getting out of this. Chicken, we don't even know it's in here. <laughs> Chicken. There you go. Mac and cheese on a burger, that's a show. Yeah, or no, it's smart, isn't it? Ian's a genius, man. Genius. So we've trained, we've recovered, and we just ate. We Big thank a, you to Jamie for coming on lot. today. Yeah, a lot. It was a serious bit of grub. Did you serious have a good time? Bit. I did, I had a great time. And fair play to you jumping in the session. You got smart, you got, you got stuck in. Yeah. And the recovery, he was the man of the recovery, and I appreciate that because I know I have to go and walk on me recovery. There you go. There you go. So, T R E, train, Class. recover, eat. Good visuals, good life is so that matters. Health that you got right there is so that matters. Saving, stacking up. Yeah, yeah.